But you're the president of the Costa Press Club, and they recently celebrated their 10th anniversary. Um, you're a free lunch journalist and writer, and you've also presented on radio. Uh, you've written for the Sol uh, Kirsten magazine and La Danesa magazine, and you're currently working for Spain Today, which we'll talk about in a minute. Of course, first of all, we want to find out all about the Costa Press Club. Um, now, when did you become president? In 2006, I was officially elected president. I had uh, for a year been in function, but we had to have a, an election of a committee, and I presented. Since I had been doing it in function, then I said, well, I will try and, and uh, stand up for election. I got elected, and I've been it since then. Obviously doing a very good job. It takes time, but it's great joy and great pressure to see when an organization uh, works and it gets uh, good meetings, good get to be, things like that. Okay, and uh, could you explain what the aims and objectives of the club are? Well, the aims is basically that we are all communicators, one way or another. We work in different media, but we have something in common. We all want to uh, share our information, our sources, and have a way of that we can actually speak in common. Each of our members work in different fields, photographers, editors, social media, but we have something in common. Our work is to communicate towards experts and occasionally to local politicians as well. Which brings me to uh, my next question. Uh, how many members do you have? We have 45 active members from six different nationalities. It varies because occasionally we get a couple of new members and then somebody for moving away or they don't work with communication anymore but basically we are 45 to 60 uh, uh, 50 members who are occasionally or on a regular basis t taking part of our activities and uh, as you say lots of different nationalities are involved and um, you meet regularly once a month um, and you exchange ideas uh, and as you say there's um, uh, representatives from magazines, from the radio, from the TV, uh, from the press as well. And as president, what are your responsibilities? I mean, my responsibility is to communicate all the official matters with the committee. Uh, currently, we have uh, seven members in the committee, including myself. And I have to be the one that sends out for any official matters. Then I inform our members about our activities. I coordinate with our web mistress Nessie Wood all the information that has to come up to our website so the members can be updated. Where is the next meeting? Where are we going to have it? What's the menu going to be? Do we have any guest speakers? Which is another area where we are working quite uh, well. Uh, could you tell us uh, about some of the guest speakers that uh, have obviously uh, been at the meetings? Well, we've had Michelle Chaplow uh, recently, who was one of the best uh, photographers, and she's a member of the club who did a 22-minute picture show about lightning when we do photos. We've had uh, Hector Barbota, a Spanish Argentinian journalist who has written a book about the Malaya corruption case. Uh, we've had uh, David Searle, who has been and who is writing Every year he's publishing a book called You and the, the Law in Spain. And we try to find guest speakers with an, a message that is relevant for people who are engaged with communication. We don't have any preachers, we don't have any doctors, but if we can find somebody in that area that has something that is relevant for people working within the communication field, then uh, we will, the committee will study whether and how to fit it in. And... Uh, it's always a challenge to find out where, uh, who is the relevant guest speakers, in which language do they speak, because the vast majority of our members are speaking English, and if we do a, a have a guest speaker in Spanish, who's talking Spanish, then we know that the number of turnout members who will turn up will be uh, a bit uh, less, not because the guest speaker is not interesting, but because of the language barrier. You have a very important annual competition, which is the Communicator Award. Tell us about that. Well, the Communicator Award is a prize that we give to uh, 
one or several outstanding pieces of work of journalism in different categories. When I say we, it is a, a panel of judges that is studying the entries and then at the end they will pass a recommendation to the committee and we give the prize. We've been, we're doing it uh, for the last seven years. One year there was not enough candidates so it was declared deserted. But in, in other cases it's when we find somebody who's been doing something in different formats, an article, a television program, uh, a radio program, and it's all given individually. We don't give it to a general publication uh, because it is a prize that is aimed for the author uh, and not the publication where his or her work, article or work has been published. Anything else you'd like to highlight about the uh, Costa Press Club? I think it's great to have an organisation sin animo de lucro, no uh, intention. We are officially recognised and we can actually send out a press release representing uh, communicators that are working and writing for the expats on, on the Costa del Sol. And we can do that um, knowing that we are not in representing individual publications but a branch. And uh, you are currently, as you say, uh, working for Spain Today. Just tell us what you're doing with them. Well, Spain Today is a, a digital newspaper aimed for Danes who has relationship to Spain. Basically, um, Danes who are living on the Costa, but also Danes who've got a secondary vacation home, or Danes who are living in Denmark and who want to follow what is happening in Spain and they can read uh, about it in Danish. We send out uh, uh, every day, uh, we have a bulletin that we send out to approximately 5,800 subscribers. And then uh, we have a radio program uh, every Friday called Radio Solimar Weekly, where we go into deep to some of the articles and issues that we've been touching and uh, writing about during the week.